Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is another video on Advanced Digital Design Challenge. In this particular video, I'm going to give you a challenge which will be related to detection of a short pulse. And this video is going to be very, very interesting and knowledgeable. And now without wasting much time, let us get started and see our challenge. Friends, the challenge is on your screen where you have to design a short pulse detection logic. So this question mark, this is an unknown module which you have to design. Input to this module are two signals. One is clock signal, another is one bit signal. On this one bit input signal, we will give a short pulse. What do I mean by a short pulse? The short pulse meaning is its duration will be quite less than as compared to the period of the clock. So let us assume that this clock period is 10 nanosecond and this short pulse will be only 2 nanosecond. This is just an example. It can be less than that also. Now, as soon as this short pulse is detected by this unknown module, it should give me its output high for one clock cycle. So let us name this signal output signal as pulse detected. Friends, to clarify this problem statement, I have drawn timing diagrams. Let me share those timing diagrams with you. So these are the timing diagrams. These are two inputs, clock and short pulse input. This is output, which I named as short pulse detected. So this is the clock signal, and this is a short pulse applied to the unknown module. You see it is quite less than with respect to the clock period. And it is asynchronous also. It is not like it is aligned with any of the edge. Now, as soon as this pulse is detected by the unknown module, it should give me its output high for one clock cycle as shown in a figure. Friends, now I assume that the problem statement is clear to you. Now you can pause my video here. Try to think of its answer. If anything comes to your mind, please write it down in the comment section so that we can initiate a discussion there. Otherwise, I will reveal its solution in the upcoming video. And with this, I'm going to end this video. And I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.